A chemist prepares a solution of potassium bromide or KBR by measuring out 0.18 grams of KBR into a 200 ml voltmetric flask and filling to the mark with distilled water. Calculate the molarity of Br- or bromide and ions in the chemist's solution. So in this problem, we are given 0 0.18 grams of KBR. First thing you need to do is to convert grams of KBR into moles of KBR using the molar mass of KBR. So if you look at your periodic table, the molar mass of potassium is 39.10 grams per mole. And the molar mass of bromine, or Br, is 79.90 grams per mole. So if you add the two, you will get the molar mass of KBr, which is equal to 119 grams per mole. So that means one mole of KBr is equivalent to 119 grams of KBr. So the grams of KBr would cancel out, and this will give you the moles of KBr. As you can see in the problem, the question is asking for the molarity of the Br- anions. So if you can recall, KBr once you dissolve it in water, it dissociates into two ions. We have the potassium cation, K+, and we have the bromide anion, or Br-. So as you can see from the dissociation, one mole of KBr dissociates into one mole of K+, and one mole of Br minus. So we can put into our solution one mole of KBr produces one mole of Br minus. So the moles of KBr cancels out. Now you have the moles of Br minus. And if you solve this in your calculator, 0 0.18 times 1 divided by 119, that's approximately equal to 0 0.00151 moles of Br minus. Now that we have the moles of Br minus, we can now calculate the molarity of Br minus. We know that the formula for molarity is moles of the solute per liter of the solution, or moles per liter. So in the problem, we already figured out the moles of Br-, minus, which is 0 0.00151 moles, divided by how about the liters of solution. So in the problem, we are given 200 ml of the solution. So you need to convert first 200 ml into liters. And as we know, one liter has 1000 ml. So to convert 200 ml to liters, you need to divide it by 1000. So 200 divided by 1000, that's equal to 0 0.200 and this will be in liters. Now grab your calculator and solve this, 0 0.00151 divided by 0 0.200, and this is equal to 0 0.00755 moles per liter, or you can express the unit as 0 0.00755 molar or capital M. So the answer to this question is 0 
755 molar.